Temps in the mid 70s. Light wins as we're underway. One strike offering, belted to right and hit deep off the bat of Curland. And it is gone. Goodbye, home run. Cade Curland coming off a 1 for 12 weekend at Mizzou, was 0 for 5 on Sunday. Says, How do you do? John Abraham and knocks him out of the yard. It's 1 0. Well, Florida State had won the first two matchups this season. Jeez. This guy's enormous. And he tags one to right center field. High and deep. And it is carrying out goodbye. Home run, Jack Caglione. And the Florida Gators have made a statement here before Florida State can report him out. It's 2 0 on back to back homers from Curland and Caglione. One two from Slater. Slow bouncing ball. Perlin has to hurry. The stretch from Caglione, and they got it. My second take is he's safe. Here we go. Now yeah, he's safe. Florida State trying to answer back here in the first down two nothing. Ground ball. That's going to get into right field. Cam Smith with a base knock. So back to back singles for Florida State. The Gators did it with the long ball. Has twice as many walks as strikeouts. Line drive base hit. That's going to get into the corner. Williams coming around third. He'll score. Being held up is Smith at third. It's an RBI double for James Tibbs. And it's a 2 1 game. That hit him. One strike offering from Slater rides in on Ferrer. And now the bases are loaded. An RBI against Florida. Line drive, that's another base hit. That's going to run all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to score. Ferrer is going to be held at third. Jackson West puts Florida State in front. RBI's 15 and 16 on the year. And now here's Dinges putting it in play. And Caglione boots it. One run scores. Two runs come in. A two-run fielding error for Jack Caglione. And it's 5-2 to two in the season series of Trenton. Line drive to left field. This is going to be another base hit. Hit number six for the Knowles. In game two alone. Hit hard, and that's a base hit to right. Marco Dinges is going to be held up by Ty McGahee, the third base coach. And the bases are loaded again for the Seminoles. The State scored 12 in the first game, 14 in the second. Ground ball to short, they won't get two. Shelton the throw to first to get the first out of the inning, but another run comes in. As Dinges scores. See if he can make one a little bit better than that. Two strikes to the Alabama transfer, and he strikes out. Two strikes to Cam Smith. So Fisher comes in. 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball. Left side and past Cam Smith, diving at third base. So Evans with the leadoff single here in the second inning. Full count. Here's a pitch. Runner goes, and that hit him. Dale Thomas takes one off the arm. So two on, nobody out for Tanner Garrison. Line drive back up the middle, base hit. Ty Evans is going to be held at third by Taylor Black, third base coach. And the Gators have him loaded. Just to keep this to one run allowed this inning. Little number. The shortstop's going to go to third for the force. Lodice gets the out. But Evans comes in to score to cut Florida State's lead in half. Back to the top of the order and Cade Curlin, who homered in the first inning off of Abraham. He's going to send one in the air down the right field line. Long run for James Tibbs. He'll make the catch in foul ground. Quickly gets it back in. And the throw to third is a little wide. As Garrison tags up. So runners at the corners and two down. And won seven games on the mound. It's this one in the year. Left center. It's going to stay in the ballpark. Ferrer is out there. He'll make the catch. And that does it.
baseman last year for Florida State, but he has served well as the everyday outfielder in right. And he's going to make a bid for a home run opposite field. Got it. Goodbye. What a night for Tibbs already at the plate. His 14th home run of the year and his 54th run batted in. It's seven to three. Sometimes you just watch guys in college hit. Hit by pitches first time up. He's got a base knock too. He'll round first and he'll hold there. And protect him with the fastball and not the other way around because you're not getting anybody out in the fastball tonight. Strikeouts per nine is the Gators stack. This one is tagged to right center. Going back is Robertson. It's off the screen. Ferrer rounds third hard, but he'll hold there. Marco Dinges with a double off the fence. To line up a lot better. To one pitch to the big first baseman. Lifted high, deep. It is carrying, and it is fair. Goodbye, home run. Daniel Cantu with a three-run homer. And it's 10 to 3 Seminoles. Second home run of the inning for Florida State. It's time up. 10 hits now for Florida State, make it 11. Drew Farrell with his second base knock. That is only the third breaking ball that's been hit for a base hit. Alex Lodis, he's only batted once, so. Ooh, he's gonna get hit here to start the game and struck out against James, Fisher Jamison the second time. Tries to bunt his way on, he's gonna be thrown out. As Philpott shows off a good arm. Even though there was one out. Comebacker, knocked down by Philpott. Not gonna get him, another run scores. Infield single for Cam Smith. Well, there it is. Change up. That's the answer. And half was going to be difficult, but they got South Carolina. That's lying right at Perot. He's going to make the catch for the first out is Shelton. Fly ball. Here's Tibbs coming into foul ground. Is he going to get there? Oh, goes over the railing. Great effort. Can't make the catch. And you hope Tibbs is okay. He is, and in front of that right field rooting section, including the band, popped up. Short left field, the shortstop Lodis is out there calling everybody off. That's going to be a tough play, but he gets it done. It's a one, two, three innings. But I've already <laughs> wiped out my second innings, not my first. Uh-oh, look out. Jackson West cutting loose. That is gone. First home run of the year for Jackson West. The Knowles have put up a dozen tonight. Move some people's feet. Line drive. In the right center. Hit number 14, and it's a stand-up double. Second double of the night for Dinges. Didn't mean to out in front of home plate. Philpott has to hurry. They get him. Dinges rounds third. They'll hold there. Two down. One-two pitch. Off the end of the bat. Dale Thomas at third throws across to retire the side. Lefty Armstrong has been sharp. Fly ball. Hit to deep right center, still carrying, but on the warning track, Williams is there to put it away. Line drive, base hit. Third hit tonight, and his seventh this season against Florida pitcher. And keep keeping everything in the zone. And he walks here. You won't ever hear about that one again. Oh, that hit him. That's the second time tonight that Ferrer has been hit against their biggest rivals. Oh, that hit him. 
West takes it off the back. Robert Satton hits West, and Smith scores. Doubles. And he cranks this one to left, headed toward the scoreboard. Goodbye home run. It's a grand slam. Seventh grand slam this year for Florida State. And they have tore a hole in this baby. It's 17 to 3. Dingus gets a slider down in the zone. Saw a couple fastballs away, didn't like them. I'll take that breaking ball down. And I will take it over the scoreboard. Florida State, two touchdowns and a field goal to Florida's solo field goal. 17 to 3. Let alone stay. That's going to get under the glove of Rowe. And into right field for Michael Robertson. Boy, a big swing from Curlin. Curlin started the game with a home run. He strikes out here. And after that, it was just silence. Ground ball for Caglione, and that's a base hit into right. Two hits for Jack. Sliding into third is Robertson. Runners at the corners for Florida with one out. He's been at third and left this year. And he strikes out looking. So Brady Lout comes on. You just get used to it, and you got to grind it out. Farrell going the opposite way. He's going to drop it in front of Yost, who's now in the game in left field. Tyler Shelnut has gone from left to first base. Experience in this atmosphere. Boy, this is tagged to right, and this has a chance. Goodbye home run. Lodis. The only guy in the lineup without a hit until that one. And it's 19 to 3, a two run shot for Alex Lodis. That uh, haven't had a lot of offensive times this year. Uh, they're going to take Caitlin Clark. Ground ball under Cam Smith's glove at third base. Heyman goes to third. And Ty Evans has a base knock, his second hit of the game. And with nobody out, Florida has something going for the first time in a while. Line drive to right center, and this will be caught. Tibbs makes the catch, and good arm. Heyman can't come home. Every couple of years, there's a new stat that finds its way into the lexicon as Michael Robertson draws a walk. It's affected him. Pitch is high, and he draws a walk. So Florida gets a run here in the sixth inning to make it 19-4. to But he's such a gamer. I mean, he's tough. You, you can't keep him out of the lineup. Bit of panic in Baton Rouge right now with what's going on. Yo strikes out as Holtz comes on and gets... Ross puts it in play. That's a base hit. Why not? Off the bench. Gets in the game and that's hit number 19. Greg Olson comes out of the bullpen to fill in. Williams draws a walk. They swept Notre Dame middle of March. Triple goes down swinging. Two down. All right, last chance for Florida. We are making a packed house happy tonight. Back to Holtz, he's got it. And Albert is retired. Navigating an inning sounds really easy, doesn't it? Wilson draws a walk here. <laughs> Everything bounces you up, the, up or down the notch. There's a big strikeout by Holtz with that net. Runners are going to advance. Line drive to center. Ross is there. It's over. 19 to 4. What an impressive show for the Florida State Seminoles as they sweep the Gators here in 2024.